here in the office of the congressman from Queens, Gregory Meeks. How are you, my brother? Good. Good to be with you. Always good to see you. Uh, your thoughts about the current and most recent assault on the Affordable Care Act? Well, it is atrocious, actually, uh, to, you know, millions of Americans would be affected uh, by it. I can recall all of the uh, tragedies that took place before the Affordable Care Act, particularly with those with pre-existing disease. Uh, here again, we have the President of the United States, uh, even though they've lost the case previously and have taken a different position previously, uh, on attack uh, with a uh, proposal that would end the Affordable Care Act with nothing to take its place, and we'd go back to those horrific times uh, of where uh, folks would have to either go bankrupt uh, because of health care or not receive health care mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think that, you know, when you listen to what the president has been saying and some of my Republican colleagues, uh, when they talk about uh, having health care or having more available, it is the kind of health care that when you need it, it's not there. Mm -hmm. um, it, is, uh, uh, it, it, is, it is a sham. Uh, and so it, it doesn't surprise me, I should say, you know, with this president. Uh, and we would hope that the courts, or, you know, the Supreme Court held it up before, that they would understand the necessity of continuing the affordable health care for the benefit of the American people. Um, you went to Howard Law School, I think. Yes, I right. Did. You're right. So if, if one does not know or is unclear whether there was obstruction, how can one then conclude that collusion definitely didn't happen if the obstruction was around a collusion investigation? Well, look, if you're talking about the Mueller uh, report, I want to see the whole report. Right. There's no way that you can make a determination as to where you stand based upon a few quotes uh, and the summary that was made by the Attorney General Barr. It's really the Barr report thus far. Right, right, right. So you have to see the entire uh, report and see what's, what's, what's in there. I, from what I, uh, you know, as a lawyer, conclude uh, that they, you know, sometimes a prosecutor would make a decision on whether or not you have, uh, you can prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't reached that standard, you don't go forward. But as also indicated in the Barr uh, report that, uh, that Mr. Mueller indicated that the president was not exonerated. So I would imagine there may be other quotes therein, and we need to see it for itself. Uh, and, uh, and there's a lot of other things that are still going on mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um, Mueller may not have considered within his jurisdiction uh, and, and, and left it to uh, New York Southern District Courts or the Eastern District in, in, in Virginia or the state attorney, state attorney general in New York. So there's a lot of other things that are still going on also, but I would like to see um, the Mueller, Mueller report both on obstruction of justice mm -hmm. uh, and the rationale, the full rationale for that, as well as uh, the determination that there, were no, there was no collusion. Do you, you have any hope that you'll actually get it, that they'll actually release it and share it with the members of Congress? Well, I think that we gotta continue to pressure for it. I, you know, the question is, what do they redact but knowing uh, Chairman Cummings, mm -hmm. uh, as well as Chairman Nadler, mm -hmm. uh, we will subpoena. Right. And the hope is, uh, you know, I believe ultimately they would have to release some of it, but we want for the entire American public to be able to see it yeah. and not say, okay, members have to go down into the bunker and see it in a classified session. Uh, also, another subject, you're one of the uh, uh, early co-sponsors from years back of H.R. 40, aren't you? I am from the time that I have been a member of Congress, and that dates back 20 years, when John Conyers used to, uh, used to submit it every year. Um, so, and, and, and to me, I don't know why it's so difficult, because um, in essence, you know, what it's calling for is let's study this. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it is easily to uh, define the class of individuals, you know, with, with all of the DNA and everything else, you just show there's a connection to slavery, and you know, we just had a hearing uh, yesterday, in mm -hmm. fact, uh, in, uh, in 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 financial services, talking about of the that 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 forty percent of those who are 
uh, uh, 40 percent of the homeless are African Americans, yet they only represent 13 percent of the population. Yes, sir. And so the question, you know, that some may ask is why is that? I say it's directly connected to the institution of slavery, Jim Crowism, and uh, segregation. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a direct parallel. And folks sometimes think that slavery happened so long ago, that was just 156 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then when you add upon that, even post-slavery, uh, 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 then came in Jim Crowism and, uh, and segregation and laws that prevented African Americans from having opportunities to get jobs, education, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Civil rights did not happen, and voting rights did not happen until 1963. So that's just 56 years ago. Uh, so there's no, you know, there, and when you look at, uh, so some of those struggles, they are directly, any study directly correlated. So I believe that uh, a study there would simply show that. You can see other peoples who uh, have had uh, uh, similar and or less uh, uh, happen to them uh, have uh, reparations. So why not uh, America face up to its greatest sin um, to uh, people of African descent? And, 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 I, and I, you know, there's two great sins here in my estimation. Uh, part H.R. 40. Uh, the other is um, the near complete massacre of the Native Americans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so those are two great sins right. that America has committed, yet don't like to talk about right. and, uh, and, and needs to uh, cleanse itself of, of, of those uh, 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 horrific acts. Um, I was at that hearing yesterday. What is it about you, 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 uh, you know, as folk from New York, especially you two New York members of Congress, you and AOC, both of you all's speeches at financial services were the only ones that went viral from the Hill yesterday. What is it about y'all? Well, you know, I'm just <laughs> telling it as it is um, for me. Uh, look, I, I instinctively felt, you know, when you listen to some folks when they say, oh, 40 percent of the homeless population is African-American, folks, you know, sometimes think, well, what's wrong with them? Or they, this or that. Let's deal with what the real issue is. Right. Uh, let's talk about it. I mean, uh, America, we haven't really, I mean, it's, they won't even apologize for it. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, when there's, you have to confront it. You know, I could look at the difference, for example, um, of another horrific act that was shameful to mankind uh, in, uh, in Germany uh, and what took place with reference to the Holocaust is different. But here in America, you still have individuals who uh, were slave, you know, masters and uh, slave owners, uh, those who were with the Confederate, who perpetuated, their names are still proudly presented, you know, all over the country just about, especially in the South and, and here and in, 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 in right out in Virginia. Uh, so they are still idolized, yeah. irrespective of the brutality and the inhumanity that they committed to a people, uh, and it is not addressed here. So anytime you know you hear uh, uh, and allow that to go on, then um, it shows that there's injustice that's taking place. Yes, and I think that America, all Americans, should want to deal with it. I think Dr. King was absolutely right. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Yes, sir. Congressman, always good to see you, brother. Thank you for your words. Thank you. And your diligence you. and your vigilance. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All Thank right, you. Man. Take care. All right.